Hey, um, are you sure you can give me off? <laughs> no, it's just that I, um, I left quite a bit of evidence at the scene and it sounds like they found it all. Relax, kid. Evidence from your pants. I'll get you out of here in no time. You just let me do the talking, okay? All rise for her honour, the Queen's judge. Right, everyone take a seat. I'm sure we all know why we're here. Right, let's begin with the opening statements, shall we? Check this out. Your Honour, this case is a farce. Yes, I know, my client made mistakes, but who among us hasn't? Are mistakes illegal now, hmm? I mean, maybe we should all go to jail. Your Honour, I move that you declare this case a mistrial and dismiss it immediately for the one true undeniable fact that neither myself nor my client speaks a word of English. Case closed. Are you serious? Okay. Oh, I'm going to jail. You don't speak any English at all? What? Okay, counsel, what language do you speak? Greek. Greek? Mm. All right, we'll get a translator in. Registrar, can you organise a translator? Ancient Greek. Ancient Greek. You speak ancient Greek, a language that hasn't been spoken for over 1,500 years. Yes, or so. So, just to be clear, you don't understand anything that I am saying to you right now. Counsel, with all due respect, you were in here last week arguing a case and you spoke perfectly good English then. Oh, it wasn't you. You're telling me it wasn't you. All right, so who was it then? <sighs> Sounds like... Ah! Hooray. Ah! Yay. <laughs> Fat. Food. <sighs> Oh. Oh. Baby, you're having a baby. Oh. 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 Having two babies. Oh, twin. Oh. Twin. You're saying it was your identical twin. Oh. So, you have an identical twin with the same name as you and the same job as you who speaks fluent English, despite the fact that somehow you and your client only speak ancient Greek. Oppa! I'm sorry, I've had enough of this. You know what? Did you do the crime? Uh, no. Do you promise? OK. Oh, whatever. Not guilty. And that's what I call justice, baby. Courts! They're not really like that. New Zealand judges don't even use these. So what's it really like? Who knows? I do, and I'll tell you in a second. In Te Ao Māori, the community comes first. Your whānau, your hapu, your iwi. Disputes aren't between two individual people. Your whole community is affected. Before the Brits arrived, conflict resolution took place on the marae. Everybody got to say their piece, and Rangatira would feel out the consensus and let everyone know what the next move would be. Utu meant that actions required reciprocity, which could take lots of different forms. For example, muru, where you'd take someone's stuff to balance things out. But then the Brits arrived, and they refused to follow local law and customs. Instead, they brought their own dispute resolution system from home. Now, it was everyone for themselves. In fact, the British hated communities so much that community service literally became a punishment they made criminals do. Now, instead of taking place on a marae with the whole community, disputes are resolved in a court under the authority of Her Majesty the Queen. Because who could have a more pragmatic approach to justice than someone who grew up in a palace being told their bloodline is superior? So, here's what you might need to know if you're going to court. First of all, if you can possibly help it, don't. Court is expensive. Lawyers are expensive too, and they speak a language you basically need subtitles for. A coroner's report, affidavit, enduring power of attorney, a power of attorney, settling the estate, unconscionable bug. If you have a dispute with someone, try really hard to sort it out by having a good chat and, and shaking hands at the end. 
But if you've got a dispute with someone who can't be reasoned with, go to a community law centre. The lawyers there will give you all the info you need and help you figure out your options. The community lawyers might suggest you go to a tribunal. If courts are Michelin-starred fine dining restaurants, tribunals are takeaways. There are heaps of them, they're super cheap, and they do what they say on the packet. There's the Tenancy Tribunal for Tenancy Disputes, the Copyright Tribunal for Copyright Disputes, and then there's the Disputes Tribunal for Dispute Disputes. The best part is, for some of them, you're not even allowed a lawyer, which is a great little rule because you probably can't afford one. But your landlord probably can. But, I hear you say, what if you're rich? Well, first of all, thanks for taking some time away from skiing in the Swiss Alps to watch my web series. And second of all, congratulations, you've got so many more options than non-rich people. For example, if you want to, you can spend a very large amount of money to get in front of a judge. And if going to court sounds like something you're into, then here's what you can expect from your little trip through the legal system. Okay, so, in court, you and the other rich person you're arguing with are both being represented by very expensive lawyers. Now, because neither of you is being accused of a crime, you're not in a criminal court. This is a civil court. You're also in the district court, which is sort of court level one, beginner's court, if you will. The judge hears two lawyers argue about who's the most right or the least wrong, and then decides whose side the law is on. Their decision is based on the rules made up by the politicians, as well as decisions other judges made in the past on similar cases. But what if you disagree with the decision the judge makes, and you're still so rich, and your new favourite hobby is giving lawyers money? Well, then you can bump your case up to the High Court. And if that doesn't give you the answer you want, and you're still rich and really getting into your lawyer hobby, you can complain your way up to the Court of Appeal. And if that still doesn't do it, and you're somehow still not broke, you can hire a whole fleet of lawyers to take your dispute all the way to the Supreme Court. Unless the Supreme Court chooses not to hear your case. In which case, bad luck. That's it. You're stuck with whatever the Court of Appeals said. So what now? Well, you're out of legal options. So, let's say that you take matters into your own hands. Maybe you throw a brick through a window. Well, guess what? That was a bad idea you just had. Now you got caught. So now the government has a dispute with you because you broke their rule about not throwing bricks through windows. Now you're out of civil court and into criminal court. And the really bad news is, even though you used to be super rich, you blew all of your cash on the Court of Appeal. And now you're poor and can't afford any lawyers at all. Not even one. Well, surely the government will give you a lawyer for free, right? We've all seen American television. You have a right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you. Well, this isn't America. It's New Zealand. And in New Zealand, it goes more like this. If you can't afford a lawyer, then on the first day they'll give you a duty lawyer, but after that you'll have to apply for legal aid, and even then it's not free. It's kind of like a loan, because once your trial is done, you're going to have to pay the government back. What? Yeah. Stink buzzy. So, after hearing that and serving your sentence for the brick thing, you might be pissed off by the injustice of the whole darn system. Which brings us to another reason you might go to court. You want to get in front of a judge and tell on the government. Well, first off, your best bet would be to go to the Ombudsman, who's kind of like the government's complaint department. But if you're part of a big fancy organisation who can afford lots of lawyers, then you might drag the government to court and call them out in front of everyone. If you're right, the judge might shout things at the government, like, Oi! You are not following the principles of the treaty! And, hey! That is against the Bill of Rights. Do not do that. And if a judge orders the government to do something, they usually do it. So that's something. One of the main things about the law is that it applies to everyone. Even the government. Even the All Blacks. Even Lord. So don't let them get away with stuff. So, um, to recap. Court is a big fancy room for settling disputes. And, um... All going well, you'll never go there. Okay, bye. Citizens Amble. A citizen.